Russ Abrams with May We Help. And what we're trying to do here today is to create a flotation device for, for, for a child with cerebral palsy uh, that is unable to float by himself in the water. He constantly needs assistance uh, from parents and it's very draining on them. Um, and it doesn't give him the mobility and freedom that really anyone with a disability wants. Today, this one is actually uh, much better. This is the most effective prototype we've had. Uh, one of the, the issues we didn't realize is his strength. Uh, he might have cerebral palsy, but he is extremely strong. And when he uh, reacted, um, his, all his muscles tense up. And that's something he did in the last one as well. But this time, uh, he actually broke our device. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back and make it uh, a little bit more durable and flexible so that it, he can uh, he can flex when he gets that initial shock of cold water or initial movement because all of his but all of his muscles move at the same time when he's trying to just move an arm that that's the kind of the cause of cerebral palsy so we're going to make a slight adjustment but right now it, it's doing the it's it, it's it's suffice it's meeting the needs and uh, we have a very small adjustment in the next few weeks and uh, he should be good to go, especially for the rest of the summer, he should be good to go. He is about to turn 10 later this week and he was born uh, at 24 weeks. He was an extreme preemie and um, he has CP, which is cerebral palsy and lots of other conditions. He's deaf and uh, normally he's in a wheelchair. So for him to have freedom in the water is, is unbelievable. He doesn't even have this much freedom, you know, outside of the water. It, it's beyond words, really. It, it's indescribable. I mean, Caleb's whole life has been a, a village of people helping us, and this is just the next, the next rung on the ladder. Uh, Russ and his group, May We Help, has been amazing. May We Help's mission is to allow anyone with a disability who wants to perform a task that they used to be able to do or that they would like to do. Uh, could be a daily task or a uh, recreational activity. Um, but because of their disability, they're unable to. So what we do is we create, we fill the gap between their disability and what they can do and what the activity requires. And by doing that, we create a device that fulfills that gap and meets that need.